Hello everyone. Okay, I am going to explain you the quickly about uh, latest update. Uh, this is about the database system in the G sites for now. As I st said that this is the quick update. So the same thing will be. Uh, I mean the complete database system will be applied on all these modules, all these, and all utilities. But for for now, in this update, 8.3, I'm just I have just implemented for the Google sites and uh, you have to select the database system if you want to use database system and if you don't want to use this you have to switch off and you just have to use the file system that you are already using like this and all that but if you don't want to use the file system then you have to check this and go here and let's create for example my first project then you have to select theme and add the article my first article for example and uh, the custom template if you have selected this and if you do haven't selected this then you don't need to add anything here so this is the URL if you want to use the uh, URL whatever you want YouTube URL about us content contact my contact us content so this will be sim exactly as you do in your file system everything is same every format is same in each and everything like about us this this uh, this will be spinnable and uh, everything is same just the difference is you don't have to go to files and uh, for example if you want to use the multiple pages you have to check this you have to tell what pages you want for example these two I just added these in testing and this article will be different from the home page we have added article here this is different but the article that we have inside here this can be different you can paste the same if you want but this is for multiple pages I mean this article will be used in this page and this page and this URLs you can paste multiple URLs and it will pick the random one similarly the YouTube videos you can paste multiple videos so that software will pick the random one this is the custom template no need to add anything here because you haven't selected this custom theme so for now you are using this so now we have added the campaign name we have selected this we have added selected multiple pages and added inputs for all multiple pages and added our home page data like this this is and about us page data contact us page data and we are good to go and uh, you just have to save the campaign so here you can see everything is saved inside the database if you want to see your campaigns you can click on view campaigns and uh, here you have to select the campaign that you want to use in case in future if you want to update then you have to select the campaign update and you can update any like new URL new article and then you just have to update the record and you will see that you see the new my first article I have updated that and this is also new so I'm just telling you how the database system in GSAT settings working and uh, now as you do this is here and then this one is here this is checked and then you just have to run this but let me just tell you for example you haven't selected any campaign I mean this is selected so when you run this it will give tell you that select or create the campaign so this error will be there in two cases if you haven't selected any campaign or if you haven't created any campaign so in this